Leo's welcome. This is your heart spread read for mid-December 2021 time frame. This is for the one that's on your mind and in your heart. It was shaped like a heart until I started clarifying, so I went ahead and set this out ahead of time. Move things along. And I have the Nine of Swords clarifying the Eight of, uh, wand, of Wands here, Rods. And I have the Two of Wands clarifying the Six of Swords. So I'll explain the spread if you're not familiar. This is going to be you over here. Where your energy is in and around love and relationships right now. Try to see this as a baseline. For one thing, you know how you are, but let's see if I'm resonating with you. Now, this is someone as a Leo that's uh, about to do, want, really wants to do something, is contemplating, feels drawn to do something that probably people around you, when you tell them about are like, ah, uh, what? This kind of energy. So, and it's like your poison. It might even be in terms of a relationship. This is a relationship reading. So I want to see how you are in and around relationship. It's like you're kind of primed to take the leap, you know? You're just kind of maybe waiting for someone to catch your eye. That's the energy of it. Now, here comes your person. Remember, this is a clarification here for a different position. They come in very clearly. Capricorn energy, the devil. It really stands in contrast to you coming in as the fool here. So you really just kind of say the fool meets the devil. And it's kind of how does that feel to you? It doesn't feel uh, very reassuring. And, you know, I could take it as a Capricorn card, but now in how this is how they're reacting to you. The way they feel towards you is represented here by the Six of Wands. That's a great card. It's feeling triumphant. But, you know, there's something about when I see the Six of Wands in this position, it feels like a, a possessive and uh, it's something like they're uh, seeing the other person as some kind of victory for them. You know, ones are actions, see? Like, you know, there, I did something uh, romantically. I, you know, uh, and you're reacting to them here with this King of Pentacles energy. Now, also very important is looking, going from the devil to the Six of Wands. I kind of get that. And to me, it's kind of selfish energy, indulgent energy, controlling energy, uh, wanting to be the center of attention. I mean, I hate to go with the narcissist word, but it could kind of go that way. Um, and then, you know, this kind of sees you kind of falling into it. You could say like hook, line, sinker, another way to look at that. Here you are kind of primed and here they how you feel about them. And this is you're just all about them. Like you probably already stopped watching. You're like, what? My person's so cool. And like your person probably is cool. They're probably sexy as hell, kind of a little dangerous maybe, a little... Um, you know, something you've never really had before, um, you know, checks all your boxes and this kind of thing, you know, um, it's all, it's Capricorn, but I always do there to see Scorpionic energy in eighth house and, you know, um, stuff that comes, uh, with the relationship part of the devil is, uh, you know, controlling behaviors and codependent behaviors, jealousy, this kind of thing, um. So this is uh, where your person's coming from and how you're meeting them. And I got the feeling now underneath it here, we're looking at how does the universe want to advise you to proceed with your person? What's the universe's advice? Forget my advice. <laughs> uh, and they're saying this is now the Virgo card, the hermit. So a lot of Leos have Virgo, could mean significant. Um, but this is taking a step back and looking at ourselves that's really strongly what the hermit, the main thing the hermit is all about, is really looking really deeply at themselves. And so that's really spirit asking you, this is a time, your king of cups here, to ask yourself, you know, uh, really what's all going on inside of me? And not to even think about this other person. And uh, now it gets really interesting from here. This is a, a complex reading. You know, no matter how I, I try to shake it out. Um, because I see uh, maybe some kind of distance initially uh, before I do the uh, clarification. And this is your person's energy. And But here's what's interesting about this. This is advice from spirit for your person, the Six of Swords. And it's moving away from you. 
and back towards the devil. And I clarified it with the two of wands. Guys, before I get to your part of this, because I see you pursuing them now. <clears throat> now, you know, if this is Spirit's advice to go back, okay? So Spirit's telling them that there's got to be, the only reason Spirit would tell them this, it's got to be unfinished business. And it's going to require a choice for them. They're going to have to do something. They're going to have to take an action here. Um, when they're going to have to go back. It's like you did not pass go. You have to return and replay the game and uh, try to come back through. You didn't pass the level for them. I don't know how to put it other than that. And yet, like, I see you kind of pursuing them. Now, perhaps with the uh, Eight of Wands, it's a, uh, what I'm seeing, it's a distance pursuit. Maybe they distance themselves, so maybe they text with you, or then you're trying to text with them. And then you see this clarifying the Eight of uh, Wands here, uh, energy. Now, this is advice from Spirit, um, because I don't think it, it Spirit's really advising you to pursue them, but I think this clearly shows, as advice from Spirit, that like it's causing you pain to have this feeling of like yearning for them and i gotta tell you it it feels like as an astrologer just a, a lot of stuff i get uh people that are in these relationships with with people that take and don't give and uh all these things um but yet there's this energy to want to pursue you know and i get that and I, if this is any help i think this is important spirit is saying now just be advised, I think perhaps, like, whatever position you're in, here you are, okay, about this, the fact that they're going back, okay, imagine how they probably are, have feelings about it, you know, and whoever they're dealing with has feelings about it, so everybody's in this energy, so that's something to just consider, and, and really, also, your advice is go inside and look at yourself, and the outcome is a six of pentacles. I don't really feel any need to, to clarify this. Leo's, um, it's a personal card. It's really kind of you. Um, I would point out on the bottom of the deck you, is your card. So, and I do count the bottom of the deck in these readings uh, lightly in the heart spreads now. So it, it, what it kind of tells me with it being your card, the strength card, um, it's that it's your reading and so this is you out of all of this um, whether or not it's a relationship is, is kind of not the point it's like what you come to is, is a place in yourself of hard one uh, balance you know um, and so whatever risk you took with this uh, fool or you know if this is prophetic and you're going to take it you know it will end in you becoming more balanced you know and it will end in some person here this whoever's on your mind they're going to be going back and finishing unfinished business. And this, all this does is, I mean, you could say there's a, a sequel here to this movie with the Six Pentacles, because who knows what they're going to do. That's another reading, guys. But Leo, thank you. I hope you liked it. I hope it's helpful somehow. Let me know. Do leave a comment. I appreciate it. Try to get back to everyone. If you haven't subscribed, appreciate it. If you would, hit the bell. Um, thank you, guys.